I'm saving the world. Uh, no, but seriously. What I've realized in my insignificance is that we must make this ultimate sacrifice. You guys, I'm feeling better. I got some sleep. I'm like in this meadow with a bunch of cows. You know, and I was actually not going to make this video. Yes, and in my complacency, the universe was like, nay, nay, nay. I was watching some videos on YouTube and I saw the dark forces just hustling, you know? And I got to this point where I'm like, okay, I need to show up. This is the message. The universe is asking you for something in return for your sovereignty. We must have an energetic exchange. So there is a debt that must be paid and a lot of people are concerned about that debt and they're asking me spiritually, what will happen if we do this? If we release ourselves from these karmic ties, if we unbind ourselves from these lineages, these bloodlines that have kept us enslaved for however many hundreds of years and i'm telling you yes there is a karmic debt that must be paid there is an ultimate sacrifice a dismantling of everything that is known the life that you live as you know it will not be as it is on the outside okay so we just talked about this in my grab the bull by the horns video we know that lower belief systems, 3D matrices such as satanic religions, they are meant for our own evolution, but ultimately hold one soul hostage in the way that they cannot simulate their own reality. Our goal is to get those keys back. I had mentioned that those keys are to your dream car. And I'm not even talking about a Ferrari or a Beamer. I'm talking about an off-planet vehicle, Merkaba, a vehicle where you can use realms of consciousness to explore other galaxies and star systems, other versions of yourself past life regression, all of your abilities unfolding before your eyes, the codons, the light strands in your DNA lighting up, the keys. This vehicle does not need anything other than your sovereignty, your light-filled connection with your God self heart your devotion to unconditional love when there is nothing in between you and your higher self you will receive the keys and this vehicle like i said it doesn't need anything it's like on earth a vehicle just needing oil and gas or these hybrid cards not even needing that it's just everything you need will be installed so why have something interfere? A group, a community, a family, a bloodline, a belief. We've gotten to a point where it's obsolete. It's unnecessary for our evolution. When you surrender to the truth of your existence and the life that you are actually meant to live, oh, trust me there is a relinquishment at times there is nothing to hold on to the universe will sometimes ask you to let go of everything so that the only food that you have is faith and so be it we let faith become our food much better than the indoctrination my inspiration for this video, I was watching the dark forces. I have this thing where the universe is giving me many keys by establishing my connection with these other humans and so-called humans. 
You see, I'm learning a lot about myself through the reflection of the shadow. It's in me as well. So when I watch this particular woman, I see myself. She is so similar to me. She's everything I would be if I stayed in the matrix. Now I'll give it to her. She is the epitome of success. Anything she posts on the internet, millions of views. Me, over here, doing my little alien experiment, wanted to know her formula. What is her secret? Because to me, on the outside, she looks just like me doing all the mundane stuff on the land. But there's something that she is doing differently. In one of her videos, she commented on the fact that there are 80% of humans living in cities. She also said in 20 years, it's estimated that 90% of humans will be living in cities. Okay, so any of my viewers that are listening, do you remember COVID-19 and the way that the government infiltrated your life? So that is some sort of an agenda. And how does she know that? Why would she even say that? Is she creating that unconsciously? Or is she creating that consciously? I do apologize. I'm a little passionate. Maybe I'm a little triggered because I used to maybe look up to this person. Maybe I viewed her in the way that I felt she had radical privilege. I felt that she was liberty. My spirit has really shown me that that's not true. And honestly, looking very closely at all the subliminals and messages that she's putting in her videos, She's living a lie. She then goes on to frolic through the forest, selling the idea of freedom. Audacity to talk about Henry and Chris. But then secretly herself allowing the agenda to play itself out unconsciously. The indoctrination. There could be a timeline where Hey, humans awaken to the fact that nature is good for them. And there might be an exodus of some sort where our species goes back to its source. Now, we wouldn't know that, especially if we're watching only her channel. You know, we have to be a little bit more rational and look towards who who's funding this person who are their patreons what is their agenda because we would unconsciously be indoctrinated to create their particular agenda specifically that timeline we're not going to go along with the infrastructure the NWO, whatever they're trying to do, sorry. There's another experience that some of us more advanced humans are creating. We're becoming who we are, God. You know why? Because we've suffered enough. 